between the lines. Take a listen. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. But going to Mars... Oh, really? Be... Yeah. <laughs> Here we are at Norton Sales. Uh, they've been selling surplus stuff for NASA for over 45 years. If you look about, you see the engines, the cones, every type of valve, every type of gauge, every fan. Uh, these are some famous uh, tanks. A lot of people wonder what these are when they find them in the fields. Um, these are tanks often used to keep the balloon charge. Remember, things aren't necessarily in orbit. There are things suspended from balloons, so a lot of your satellite programs are gonna have extra tanks. There's a yard full of all this stuff. You can see vintage collected stuff from all these years. Um, I used to live in this neighborhood. So I know where this guy gets it. It was from Rocketdyne. That's where the famous Bill Casing worked. And um, he's the one that said, that, you know, the stuff just doesn't work. One of the greatest, I mean, everything here has been picked through, but you, this is the surplus from NASA year after year. There's a vacuum chambers, actual engines, actual motors. If you take a look at some of the gauging, this is, a, this is actual, uh, this is out of craft. This is the lost technology. <laughs> that NASA talks about. It, they say it's a painful process to bring it back. On behalf of Flat Earth, I, prevent you, I present to you the painful process of going to the moon that they've scrapped entirely since the 60s. In 50 years, this stuff's been sitting right here. And I've been dying to tell you well, all you about it. it. You yeah. found it. All right. So we're in a place called Norton Sales. It's in North Hollywood, and they've been buying surplus for years. Um, when I was a kid, I worked in the automotive business and we bought shelving here because they had the scrap shelving. You got to imagine at the end of a project, Gemini, Apollo or something, by government process, it shuts down fiscally and it has to go to auction and they, they sell the entire building, desks and everything. Um, this is where it ended up and they scrap certain things and they keep other things. Literally, people come here. If you ask them, they'll tell you that um, Elon Musk shops here today and that they're back engineering really? stuff. Absolutely. So looking forward to next time we come when you can see the Apollo rocket. There's a rocket that's on loan right now, a rocket engine, and it was from the command module. Uh, it was a spare from the command module of the um, Apollo program. And they say that that is the only rocket ever designed to be uh, fired up at over 70 miles in height. That, um, you know, we don't, we don't think rockets can even work in space, but they made one anyway. And it's here for us to look at. Well, now, Shelly, you've always wanted to go to space. Looking around here, I think we can make that happen for I'm you. I'm here. I made it. <laughs> I have arrived. This is one thing I can take off my bucket list. Wendell, can you get a close up of some of this equipment? <laughs> All right. I mean, there's no telling what this stuff does. Yeah. Can we use this for our documentary? Absolutely. You know, so there's no telling what we're seeing here, but this is some fascinating stuff. Well, that looks stuff. real scientific. <laughs> Definitely. And if you look in this thing, this is obviously some form of vacuum chamber, and it's obviously probably for testing things in a vacuum. I don't know. This is, by the way, there's your vacuum of space. Right there. <laughs> huh? there you go. Look how nice that goes right. in there. Hold on, you have a pressurized system next to a vacuum. <laughs> there you go. There you go guys. That's exactly what it is. So again, you're welcome to look it up. Norton Sales Inc. Is, has a website full of this stuff. It's become uh, closer to a museum than a surplus yard. It's been here for quite some time. Come look at the rest of the stuff. You get, you got um, components and uh, complete facilities, lots of dials, lots of gauges. Uh, if you look up here, you can see complete engine assembly still. And this is the real deal. Mass, yeah, this is where their last, the NASA's lost technology is. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a wrench in their story. <laughs> they said they destroyed that technology. They, they destroyed did. it, and we found how they put it back together. Here you'll see manifolds, uh, one after another after another. It is my personal belief that Elon Musk comes here, buys this stuff to make it look like they're building rockets, to make it look like Elon. Really? Reach out for Elon. Reach out to him. All these flange pieces are really fascinating. The engineering in itself are exciting. You can only imagine aircraft has higher tension stuff to begin with. 
so it's pretty amazing. It says the bomb on this. It is the bomb. The F bomb right there, look. I'll it's see the if there's bomb. anything else we can look at. Yeah, no it's the F bomb. It's empty back here now. And the DA bomb. Maybe outside there's gonna be some more stuff. They had uh, vacuum chambers. I just and, dropped uh, an F bomb. <laughs> Every shelf here was just gauges and dials and dials and gauges and, and nuts and bolts and specialty clips, like specialty clips, like you wouldn't imagine. Just clips and, and things, attachments, things that are designed to keep, to keep things attached. Here again, these are these tanks that you see left in fields. And um, people think they're an alien in nature, and I don't think they are. Uh, since there's a stack of them outside, they don't appear uh, quite as alien as one might think. But imagine if you're going to suspend um, a balloon for weeks at a time, you might need some spare gas. And I think occasionally these drop out, and that's what we find. Here's wow, Dan, you landed on a gold mine. Yeah, here, come back here. Again, we'd like to talk to good old Don Pettit about that lost technology. We're here, this is some of the stuff that's still good that they pulled. Um, it'll show us how Elon Musk can come here to buy something very similar to this. He said it would be rebuilt. They showed how we'd be able to rebuild the, the rubber and bring everything back up to spec. Why they're going backwards in technology, I have no idea. But this is uh, some of the lost space program there's our space program folks sitting on the there floor it is, north hollywood. right we there it. we found it dan it's along the floor north hollywood right here oh, look yeah. at this cutaway on that the spring assembly oh yeah huh that's awesome and look at this cam assembly here they got it here they needed it for something well here's one of their satellites dan there oh, it yeah, is right that there probably been there back <laughs> <laughs> it's <become> satellite <laughs> Well, thank you, Don Pettit, for uh, not looking very hard. All right. Thanks, Don. Thanks, yeah. Don.